how's it going? I'm doing kind of the prep work before I bleach and probably maybe dye my hair tomorrow. I don't know. Um, and I figured I would finally film a video yapping about hair dye and bleaching and at home character customization, if you will. I have been dyeing my hair at home since I was like 12-ish, so I have six years of knowledge. Um, and I've tried a lot of different brands. Um, I bleached my hair. Other than the time we accidentally bleached my hair in eighth grade, long story, um, two or three times, like truly bleaching it, and a couple times I used bleach to just like lighten my hair to get rid of um, some hair dye that just like refused to leave my hair. My six years of mistakes will be in however long the video is for you to consume and hopefully not do. Currently I'm cleaning the bathroom a little bit because life's a bit of a mess. Because I do think it's good to at least like kind of clean before um, dyeing and bleaching just because uh, even though like I know realistically I want to clean the counter and the bathtub again, at least it means I don't have to worry about giving um, neon pink hair dye on everything that was sitting in here, which was way more than I'm willing to admit. I'm doing everything I didn't do when I dyed my hair red like a month ago, it's very faded now. Um, it's been a very busy summer and I just never got around to actually finish and cleaning up. Immediately afterwards, I've been putting stuff away to clear off counter space. I have like as much counter space as possible. And I found something I plopped in here because I planned on dyeing my hair a couple days back, but then I decided I wanted to bleach it and do something different because it'd be like that. Um, so one of the things I would recommend is having like a specific old comfortable like pajama shirt that you're willing to get like bleach and dye on to use pretty much every time you dye your hair if you're planning on doing it regularly. Um, and it just kind of became my hair dye shirt because we dyed my hair once and it got like covered and I think if I show it you can see there's bleach, there's there's some bleach stains, there was at one point like very noticeable red on the shirt, like it's it's been through the ringer. So that's the thing I would recommend. Welcome to my box. This has like everything in relation to dyeing my hair that I have. Uh, it's an old shoe box. Quite a few things in here I will talk about when I get to them like in the process. But mostly what I needed to grab this box for was to clean the mixing bowl and the spoon, teaspoon, tablespoon. I use for mixing. It is from our family's kitchen set that I borrowed and then um, I need to sit it in bleach for a while to get it to be worth giving back and my family isn't too mad. Oh, we don't It doesn't help that like one of the things that was really recommended if you're doing at home bleach and like it's I feel like you kind of have to do this to at least kind of keep your hair not horrific um, is to let it get relatively greasy before you bleach it. Like I would have done it when I got the stuff yesterday, but um, I didn't feel like my hair was greasy enough. It's a grease ball right now, so. I need to be more awake when I actually like put bleach on my hair. So. Okay, so the bleach I'm using for today, I have just a couple other ones, is the um, 
giving 2016 Makeup YouTuber the Good Guy Young Lightning Kit. It's 25 volume. I'm gonna be so for real with you. I bleached my hair several times. I still don't understand what the hell volume is. Um, I think it's, I know it's just like the strength of the bleach. Don't ask me what means it's um, stronger or I guess weaker. That's not the right word. And I wanted to get either the Manic Panic um, fast lightning kit or whatever, because the time I did that, um, we knew that if I had just left it on for a little less time, it would have been like perfect. Or the Lime Crime Brands bleach kit, I have it. Then this thing, I've been using that a couple times, but it's not strong enough to get this splat out, I've learned. This splat as a hair dye is just fabric dye. That's just what it is. I'm aware of that, that's not gonna stop me from doing it, so. Most of the kits um, will come with the volume thing and then powder. Number one, uh, uh, this isn't even number one. So there's, you're gonna need this um, for cutting stuff open. I guess I should show you the sprawl. I have an old Walmart bag, I think attached sink to use as a trash bag, so that way I can just quickly throw anything up. Um, I have a mixing bowl, these weird hair clip thingies. I'm gonna need when I get around um, my ears and stuff. One of these things, um, brush. If you use it for hair dye, um, you can clean these off and reuse them. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I've been using that one for like, this is like my fifth time using it, that's fine. And then a comb, comb, hair brush. I'll be a good bean and I'll prep first. I think that will make more sense. Take Vaseline or something similar if you're choosing. Um, oh, this is gonna come off too. Um, it's, this is better for dye, but it also can be helpful with bleach. I put it on the back of my ears. Actually, I just kind of like slather my ears and I put it along my hairline. Um, it's good for hair dye because it prevents the dye from sticking to that er those areas of your skin as much, or at least like, I can't see the back of my neck, but I have heard from my mother. Let me use Vaseline. Maybe all around um, my hairline as much as possible, and especially like around my ears kind of area. And I guess the next thing I should mention are um, these clips. I also like from Sally's. Um, I have a couple of them. They're helpful if you're doing any kind of sectioning. If you're just doing like just dye and like a one and done kind of color, they're not really necessary. Um, but if you're doing any kind of sectioning off, they're useful. The directions in the box are like kind of 50 50. Um, for the most part, this is good. The only thing is it says to wait for like up to 50 minutes. Most people, you do not want to wait more than like absolute max 15. Don't, don't leave bleach on your hair for 15 minutes. That's just a straight, don't do that. Um, 15 might be the recommendation if you have like box, box dye black hair, but like even then, just it's better to do smaller rounds of bleach than to leave the bleach on for a long amount of time. That's how you get a fucked up scalp. My scalp is indeed fucked up. I'm gonna mention headquarters. This is a scalp lotion. I'm gonna use the headquarters in one of these guys um, on my scalp to hopefully protect my scalp. I haven't tried this before, but I have badly burned my scalp with bleach. It was not a fun experience. So. I'm now going to have to take a comb through my hair. Does that look so good? It's giving coconut head. It's it's really giving coconut head.
was um, this made so much. Uh, I don't know if it's visible, but there's a lot more than I thought I was going to do. So I really did need to use the whole thing. But that's fine. I need a little more precision than this will give me. So, so most of kits will give you gloves that come with it that will work perfectly fine. Um, but not all just straight dyes will. So we got a box of these at one point. I think I'm gonna section my hair off this. Or at least up. That didn't even work a little bit. I've never used this bleach kit before. So I'm not like a hundred percent sure on how it's gonna work, but so just as a general kind of thing, especially if you have longer hair, it's harder to do with like the short hair that I have. Um, do I just, do I break my own nails? I think I'm going to have to break my own nails. Um, it's better to start with like the middle section of your hair, like that, then get the tips and then get your roots if you have longer hair. Um, I don't really have much of that option, so. This, especially doing this when we're getting the most even coverage known to man. It's not that going to be. It's never going to be um, particularly even. No matter how many times I do this, I always get surprised that um, bleach smells like bleach. my first pass, I'm gonna let this sit and then come back when I have to rinse. This is a bad angle, um, but in case none of that was visible, um, I'm great at camera work. Also, by the way, I'm only leaving it on for like five minutes. This is, hello. I'm only going to leave this on for maybe five minutes. Um, it's already doing this like tingly thing. I think it's supposed to do that because I'm not feeling a tingle on my scalp, but I'm hearing it. And I'm just now remembering I need to put a cap on. Salon cap. Yep. I forget exactly why you're supposed to do this with bleach, but um, brass house and cap. Also from Sally's. Assume if I don't mention where something's from, assume it's from Sally's. a bit of my scalp to get this to be blonde. Um, it did lift a lot of the color very quickly, um, but I am going to do all of the second pass off camera. Knowing how to do something and knowing how to do something while filming it at the same time are different skills and I can't see anything. I don't have my glasses on, so I need to get up and personal and I can't really film and do that, so. I figured I should check in before I hop into the shower. Um, I'm going to show up to like two or three times. Uh, I'll also get to put in conditioner and stuff. Um, but the main thing which is shampoo. Shampoo, shampoo to try to get as much of it off of your scalp and stuff as possible. I almost feel like I might have left it on a little too long. But I always feel like that and that's how I make it. Like, that's blocked. I don't know what the pool's gonna look like. I need to do a clean up my scalp because there's chunks that can still heal, so I'll see you afterwards. Hello, um, editing Onyx here. This is mildly awkward. I think if the file size on this gets any bigger, my phone will explode. So I'm going to break up this video into two parts. So this part will just be the what you watched it. Um, is just the bleaching part, and part two will be the clips of me dyeing my hair. 
Um, I don't exactly know when that's gonna come out. However long it takes me to edit it, I'll put it up here if I know how long it will take. Um, like and subscribe, I guess, if you want to see that video. I kind of promised it in the beginning a little bit. My bad. <laughs>